Do 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 do. Hello, everybody. It's us, Thomas and Percy. Hello, and welcome back to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show Christmas Special. Sorry, this episode came out late. It was meant to be with the first part. But we also have some new contestants, too, so... Anyways, here are the contestants. Up first, we have Harold. Now we have Charlie, the guy who's annoying and likes to piss people off. And finally, the infamous Devious Diesel. I'm going to win this. <laughs> Hello, Harold. Oh, God. No, God, please, no. No, no, no. Anyway, since we didn't have the time to write questions on a big, fat, ugly piece of paper, we're actually getting the questions on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, so that's what those things are. Joy-Cons. Yep, and me and Percy will be controlling them. So, let's get with the first question. We're actually going to do 10 questions, just like the previous episode. So, let's do it now. Okay, what are you waiting for? All right, let's start. Let's start it. Let me turn the volume up. You remember you only get 10 seconds for this quiz and also subscribe to this channel. Alright, here's the first question. What are Santa Claus's other names? Oh, um, okay. This should be an easy one. Is it Chris Kringle, St. Nicholas, Father Christmas, and Panel Zinc Nickel, or something like that? Yes, that is correct. Harold, you get... 20 points. Doo doo. Now, anyways, on to the next question. What objects are typically placed at the top of the Christmas tree? Ooh, 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 ooh. Me, 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 me. I know the answer. All right, Charlie, what's the answer? Is the answer an angel and or a star? Well, let's find out. Well, looks like you're correct, Charlie. Yes. All right, PP. PP, Thomas. PP. PP. Oh, yeah, um, we get it. Now, anyways, you get 30 points for the, for the Christmas spirit. Do-do. Anyways, on to the next question. Who got ran over by a reindeer in the classic Christmas song? Jesus Christ, death in a Christmas song? Jesus, Rudolph, I didn't know you were a murderer. We can see it on that red nose because red stands for blood and blood is on your nose. Oh, the humanity! Why would they do that in a, in a Chris, in Christmas? Christmas is about spending time with family. Santa Claus, Rudolph, Christmas movies, presents. Tell me about it. Exactly. So that why, that's why we, we're not going to answer this question. But I know. 
Is it grandma? Wait a minute. My grandma? Curse you, Santa Claus! <sighs> okay. Let's just see if it's the correct answer. Come on, just load already. But why my grandma? Why couldn't it have been Percy's grandma? Or James's grandma? I heard that! Shut up, James! Hiya! Thomas, don't you dare talk about my. Oh! Oh, the humanity! Ha ha! In your face, you ugly, devilish weirdo! I mean, like, what is wrong with you people these days? Uh, Diesel, can we do the Christmas special now? It's starting to get boring. All right, fine. We'll resume the Christmas special. But in your face, you ugly red monster. Hey, don't call me that. Shut up. I can call you whatever I want. Come on, let's go back to the studio. I agree. Anyways, folks, as you just heard, Diesel said that Rudolph ran over my grandma on purpose. So, he will get 50 points for telling the truth. Man, no wonder I haven't seen my grandma in six years. Doo -doo. Anyways, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey you! Do you want a product that's so revolutionary? Well guess what? Introducing Nintendo's latest and greatest product ever, the Nintendo Switch! It's really cool! It even has a kickstand! See? And it has detachable Joy-Cons, so that way you can do almost anything with it. Take away the Wii U and you got a tablet game console. Ooh. And it also has parental controls. Ew! Parental controls! Oh, I'm the old little frog! It also supports amiibos! Wait, can 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 you see that? Uh, it supports amiibo and me! You know, from the Nintendo Wii, and the Wii U, and the 3DS. It's cool. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, god dang it! And it also has themes for the home screen. You can choose basic black or basic white i rather choose the black it's way more normal and it also has an e-shop just like the wii u look at all those games <laughs> and there's an amazing game library with games such as just Dance, Grand Theft Auto, Auto, the Trilogy, Animal Crossing, Happy House Part, Paradise, and it even has Among Us, Pokemon, or Pokemon, and Fortnite. And I bet you're wondering, well, how much does it cost? Well, guess what? It's just a 
It's just a, it's just a price of $300. If you want to get the Switch Lite, that's even cheaper. But if you want to get the trashy OLED model, it's $350 more. So would you ever buy a Nintendo Switch Lite, buy a regular Nintendo Switch, or buy a... $350 Switch with no new features. My best option is Switch Lite, original Switch. So if you want to get it, buy it now. You know, it's Christmas time, so you probably want to get it for your brother or sister or your son. I want a Wii U. I really want one. So yeah, buy it now! Go to www.nintendo.com. Not sponsored. Hey everybody, and we're back with another question. Now anyways, on to the fourth question. In the song, 12 Days of Christmas, what is given on the fifth day? Uh, rest? Wrong. You get four negative points. Doo-doo. Oh, come on. Wait, I think I noticed one. Is the answer five golden rings? Four hummingbirds, three henchmen, um, two turtle doves, and a one star in a tree. That is correct. You get Harold four points and fit five bonus points. All right. Do do. Anyways, on to the next question. What were the gifts given by the three wise men to baby Jesus? Wait, wait, I think I know. All right, Charlie, what's the answer? A Wii U? Look, a Wii U came out in 2012. That. At that time, the year was the year zero. Nothing happened. Once the end of the year came, it still continued. Uh, so that's not the correct answer. I'm going to give you one last chance. Uh, is it gold? Okay, okay, you get three points. Harold, is it a Merif? I don't know what that is, but sure. Is it a Frankencies. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. You two get, you three get three points each. Do do. Anyways, on to the next question. In the Christmas song, Little Drummer Boy, what line comes after? Come, they told me. Wait, I think I know this one. What is it? Is it what to do? What do you mean? Look, it says here, they told me, and but you're supposed to say what to do. As in, they told me what to do to get this right. I I I, I know that how that makes sense, but that's not the correct answer. What? Does anybody else have any answers? Oh, I know. What is it? Come to they told me these nuts. That wasn't funny. Oh. I just want to be a comedian like Charlie. 
Ow, you stupid idiot. What is wrong with you? I'm the comedian in the show. You're not. If you ever try to do what I do, I'm going to kill you with a gun. Do you understand? Yes, yes. Now go do it again. <laughs> All right, both of you are incorrect. So, Harold, what do you got? Well, is the answer. Parum, pum, pum, pum. Parum. <laughs> Parum, pum, pum, pum. That is correct, Harold. You get. 10 points. And the rest of you who got it wrong, you get six negative points. Do do. Anyways, on to the next question. What is the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time as of December 21? You meant as December 2021? Yeah, that's what I meant. Anyways, I know this is going to be an easy one, so we probably won't get any wrong answers. Wait, I think I know this one. Is it Home Alone? You're close. What? What? Well, Home Alone is the... What? Yeah, sorry, it is the second. But we need to find out what is the highest pay grossing Christmas movie of all time as of December. 2021. This isn't December 1990. Okay. Um. Oh. Wait, I think this. I think I know which one. Is it The Grinch? Yes, you are correct, Diesel. Because that movie made 511 million US dollars. Jesus Christ. That's a lot for just one movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they might make a sequel or something. I don't know. But you are correct. Harold, you get two negative points. And Diesel, you get 20 points. Yes, in your face, loser. Oh. Doo doo. Anyways, on to the next question. What kind of sleigh is used in the Christmas Carol Jingle Bells? Well, I mean, it's an easy one. In this song, it says, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, one horn it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. It's in the song. It's a one horse open sleigh. I'm surprised you all figured that out. I mean, that's. The second easiest one on the show. Anyways, you all get 10 points. Do do. Yes, all right. PP Thomas and Percy. PP. 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 Yeah, thank you. I know we're the best. Uh, anyways, on to number nine. How many ghosts visited Elvin Zier's Scourge in A Christmas Carol? What? That's impossible! Well, it's really easy. You know, I don't know. No, no, actually, it's easy for me. It's four ghosts Jacob, Merrily, Spirits of the Past, Present, and Future. That is correct, and we'll, we'll do that idea on diesel for a next for the next episode so yeah of track master thomas and friends so yeah anyways um diesel i mean charlie 
you get 20 points. Doo doo! Anyways, time for the final question of this episode. Guess the scrambled Christmas word. Ride win? Ride win? No, just guess it. Um, is it read? No. Is it read? Close. Wait a minute. Charlie Diesel. Yeah, what's up? Have you ever heard the song called Rudolph? Wait. Rudolph the Red Nose. Reindeer. That's the. That's it. Rain. We're not the red nosed reindeer. That's the answer. No, not the whole entire thing. Just reindeer. It's spelled R E I N D E E R. All those words are on the Nintendo Switch. That's the answer. So if we say it, that means we'll get fifty points and we'll all win. Oh boy, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to do it. Um, Thomas, Percy, yeah, uh, me, Charlie, and Harold both figured out the answer. And what is it? Is the answer reindeer? That is correct. Ding, ding, ding. You're correct, Diesel and all the others. You guys get 60 points each. Yes! Pee pee Thomas! Pee pee! Pee pee Thomas! Pee pee! Yeah, yeah. Now let's see those final scores. Doo doo! Anyways, that was a Track Master Thomas and Friends game show Christmas. See you guys in episode 4. Episode 4 will come out. Sometime in February. Bye. Adios, Sammy.